Hey, what's up and welcome to another episode on Hoovy's channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing the new Sonic Boom figures. And actually, we have more than just Sonic and Knuckles. I went to Toys R Us yesterday and I was looking for Sonic, and Knuckles, and Eggman. And Burnbot. They had all of them but Eggman. And then I saw two packs, which were Sonic and Amy, and then Knuckles and Tails. Now, you're probably wondering what those things are. Well, they came with Ender Beams. And as you can see, this one is like reddish orange ish. And this one is blue. Now, they're the exact same mold because if you line them up, hold on, other way around, and upside down, <laughs> as you can see, they're the exact same, just different color. Now, these aren't just decoration. All of the figures, even sticks who didn't come in a two-pack, can hold on to them with their hands. And actually, they hold on pretty good. And, speaking of the hands, let's talk about all of these guys' limbs. Let's look at Knuckles, for example. He has a pretty decent paint job. He can turn his head slightly because of his, his dreads right there. But, look at his torso. We haven't seen this on a Sonic figure yet. You know those Imaginex figures where both legs come out simultaneously? Well, these figures are sort of like that. They don't have any knee or ankle articulation, just legs in general. And they can move their arms out, and then they can circle them around. And that's it. But otherwise, the sculpt is pretty good. You can... Look at the detail on, on that. They got the shoes pretty good. I, I really like the shoes. On the bottom, it has nothing, and it actually has peg holes. And if you bought the Sonic Boom launcher that comes with the Green Hill-esque stone thing, um, you'll notice it has pegs. Well, these figures can stand on it. We're just going to put Knuckles back. Let's adjust our camera. There we go. And for the last thing, well, let's put Knuckles on the inner beam. So we're just going to put him on here. If we can. Because... Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> because Knuckles' hand is quite... Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I'm sorry about this camera usually doesn't fall over okay because knuckles hands are in a different position than all the others it's gonna take a while but they there's basically the main concept of it now that's sideways but you can get it on there oh dear god mm -hmm. but you can get it on there so that it looks like he's actually holding on to it. There we go. He's got the inner beam. And, yeah. But, actually something quite amusing is, his torso is so big and heavy, that whenever you do this, <laughs> it causes the inner beam to bend. <laughs> that's funny. So, that's Knuckles out of the way. He's probably my second favorite out of all of these. So let's move on to Sonic, the big one I came here for. Now, Sonic has a good sculpt. He has like a quizzical grin. He has his trademark smile. And uh, the lighting is bad here, but he has the extra spike on the sides of his heads right there. Back is good. He's got the extra spine on top. He's got a good bandana. He's got a wristwatch. You can really tell the color difference between the glove and the sports tape. I really like that. 
Um, the back is pretty good. The shoes, again, I'm a sucker for the shoes. Those are pretty good. And he can stand very easily. But the only problem with him is that he has to lean forward, too, because his head is so top-heavy. We've experienced this before with jazz wares. And speaking of jazz wares, they're actually the same size as the jazz wares figures. But the pegs aren't small enough. That's a bummer. I would have loved it if they were compatible with those stands, but oh well. But anyway, uh, the paint job on Sonic is pretty good, but let's talk about the sculpt. I forgot to talk about this with Knuckles. You probably can't see that, but there is a huge gap between Sonic's mouth and his fur. That's one of the big glaring problems I had with this figure. And then, um, the underside of his bandana wasn't painted. So, that's really the only complaint I have with Sonic. That and his head doesn't move very far. But if you get it to move, it just goes back to the position it was. So that's my only complaint with Sonic. Well... I have one minor complaint. If you put Sonic in a running position, like this, his feet look weird from the back, and his head is always tilted to the left for some reason. But Knuckles, he doesn't have this problem. <laughs> and I would think he'd have the most glaring of all of them. That, and be warned, whenever you buy these, some of these may have loose limbs, like my Sonic. You really can't tell what is considered their good ones, and their uh, defunctional ones. And Sonic, as well, can grab onto the inner beam. So, let's move on to the three ones I really don't like. Now, I'm just gonna say to all you Amy fans, I'm sorry, but I think Amy is the worst out of the bunch. Let's... Well, actually, I'm gonna start with the glaring issue. Look at her foot. That thing is tilted at an angle. And therefore, she stands a little wobbly and she's actually a little tilted, so she should be like this, instead of like this. But anyway, um, she has a okay sculpt. Um, nice attention to detail on her wrist. Good head. Oh, and here's something funny. Looking under, no, not underneath her skirt. But, yeah, I don't think my grandma... My camera's gonna see it, but actually underneath her head is skin color. Yeah. I guess her back of her skull is skin color. Didn't know that. They have a uh, good attention to detail on the dress. I feel they didn't put a lot of attention into her shoes. Because all I see is pink with red and two bits of yellow. I think they could have done a little better, but oh well. Amy as well has some loose joints. Um, her legs can't move much because of the dress, which is why they really need the wrist and elbow and knee articulations. Now, <laughs> we had this problem with knuckles. They barely, barely paint the nose. So, it's hard to tell. That and Amy's smile is so weird. <sighs> I mean, it's like one of those rapist smiles. <laughs> and there's your tail. So, we got the worst out of the way. And sadly, she does not come with a Pico Pico hammer. I would have loved it, but sadly we got the interview instead. Stayed. <laughs> 
And now here's the one that a lot of people are going to be going to Toys R Us for. And that is Sticks. Now, Sticks did not come in a two-pack. Which was actually only a dollar more than Sticks, so I might as well just get the two-pack. But I wanted Sticks. So, in her packaging, her head was tilted like this, her arms like this, and her legs like that. Because of that reason, her head is super loose. I mean, I can even nod it. I really don't like that. That just gives me some worries in the future that the head will come off. And I really don't want that. They did actually did a good job with sticks. I mean, her eyebrow. You could see her eyelids pretty good. They did a good paint job on her torso. Good paint job on her hands. Great job on the shoes. I love the shoes. I'm a sucker for shoes. Good job on the back of the head, the good sculpt. Um, got the bandages. And then a glaring issue is that I think this is made out of a different plastic than those ones because she is much, much shinier than the others. So, because of that, just like the Jazz Warriors figures, like uh, the shiny silver and the shiny shadow, uh, you can see their seam lines a lot clearly. So... That's my only complaint with Sticks. She'll be my third favorite. And then, the odd kid, we have Tails, or more like one tailed fox that splits into two. Now, Tails, I like his head sculpt. Uh, I think they messed up with the paint because there's no in between for the goggles. Um. He has the same derp smile, but it works as well. It works better than Amy's. I could say that. Uh, the hair, pretty good job. It doesn't bend like the Jazz Wears figures. Um, still got the same articulation. In fact, his is pretty stiff, so <laughs> I like that. But he has a problem like Amy. His foot is deformed. Now, I don't know what causes this, because these were just released. We didn't get any confirmation that these were out. So it must be the way they're packaging, either that or it got by their product testing. Which I really hate to say it, but I mean, I would expect more out of Tony. This is acting like they're... Uh, like the $3 grab balls of the Sonic figures. I mean, and I would expect more, but... That's just my opinion. But Tails' back looks weird. Especially considering he's supposed to have two tails. I wouldn't mind if they were separated, but... No, it's like the back one merged into the front one. Now, this I can see why they did this, but... They actually had two parts for the tails. Why couldn't they have done two tails separated? Now, I understand it would be there for standing stability, and that's sort of a, a positive for the foot, so tails can stand, but it's, it's just a glaring issue. So that means he won't be able to stand perfectly on the pegs. Anyway, well, that's about it. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you liked it. If you liked it, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys some other time. Peace. I'm out.